Welcome to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure introductory course. Today, we're diving into a critical component of the cloud uh, computing, networking in OCI. This session marks the beginning of our journey into understanding how OCI networking capabilities can uh, revolutionize your cloud experience. So, um, let us think a little bit about uh, the basic of cloud computing. Yeah, you, you, you can imagine a bustling city yeah, with efficiency depends on well-planned roads and highways. Similarly, in cloud computing, networking is the infrastructure that connects data, services and applications. It's the framework that enters your cloud environment and is not just operational, but optimized for performance, security and scalability. So if we want to go to the networking part, click on the hamburger menu and in here as a core service, yeah, you're going to see the networking. Okay, so OCI offers a sophisticated networking landscape. Yeah, so it's not just about connecting resources, but it's also about creating a network that uh, is very agile and dynamic. And uh, it's, uh, let's say, related to what uh, yeah, your uh, cloud uh, network needs. Okay. So the cornerstone of OCI uh, networking is Virtual Cloud Network, okay, VCN. So this is the private space inside Oracle Cloud infrastructure, yeah, that is uh, uh, helping you design your infrastructure based on your needs. So let's go a little bit into the Virtual Cloud Network, yeah. Before we created a compartment where we're going to create all the network resources. And now I will show you how easy it is to create this type of network. Basically, what you need to do is to click on the Start VCN Wizard and you select how you want to create this VCN. Yeah, so this is for be absolute beginners. If you are, let's say you have experience, you know exactly what you want to do and so on, you can also go with this part. But doing this, you're also going to need to go and create manual additional resources like gateways and so on. So let me go with the easy part. Yeah, so create VCN with internet connectivity. Let's start, start a VCN uh, wizard. In here, we need to give it a name. So we have the demo. Yeah, we'll keep this name, even if it's very simple. And in here, we define the configuration of the VCN. So this is a CIDR block. Okay, so what is a CIDR block? A CIDR block in here, it's related to uh, how big your network will be. Uh, what are the, let's say, allowed IPs that will be used by your environment? When I'm saying allowed IPs, you need to think at IPs that are public, the yeah, IPs, the ones that allow access from outside the network, and private IPs, yeah, IPs that are only allowed to be used in the cloud, or if you're gonna have a side-to-side -side VPN, a fast connect, or yeah, or a private connection, yeah, to your environment. Now, after you define this basic uh, side or block configuration, you can also go as optional. You can also enter an IPv6 prefix. Okay, so in here. Yeah, you can go down and you can click assign, yeah, use the one that are pre-allocated by Oracle. Or if you have your own IPv6, you can also add your own IPv6 prefixes in here. I prefer to go with uh, this one because it's much simpler. Next one, this is very important, yeah. Let's use DNS hostname in the VCN because you might be able to create simple instances without uh, the DNS hostnames and so on. But some services have this as a requirement. So in that subnet, it should be a DNS hostman name resolution yeah, for that resources. Moving forward, yeah, forward you're gonna see configure public subnet. So public subnet means that this is gonna be the private IP of a subnet that allows connection from outside. In OCI, if you want to use a public IP, you also need to have a private IP yeah, in the backend. Yeah, so you're gonna do network address translation. So we'll know from where from outside we get in the backend. Yeah, where is the private IP? Uh, location yeah and in here the second part that is configured automatically for you it is the private subnet re uh, yeah, resources really important even if you can put anything in here you can create 10 different VCNs with the same CIDR block and so on it is really important yeah that when you create uh, a, a VCN and you also want to connect it with your own premise yeah, network or other cloud provider network or other OCA networks, choose the right cyber block. Okay, because we do not want to have overlapping between these cyber blocks. If we're going to have overlapping, 
then you will not be able to create the proper routes yet that we discussed here. Yeah? We didn't, you will not be able to create the proper roads yet yeah, that you want to have in a certain uh, uh, town. Yeah, we, we're gonna have, let's say, roads that will go in parallel one with each other or they're gonna uh, come yeah, one over other and so on. Yeah, so this is not something that you want. So be very careful when you select the cider block for the VCN, it should be a unique one. Yeah, that will not go over the existing one on premise or other cloud providers or also VCN or OCI, yeah, other VCNs. Okay, so as you can see, other things that will be created are the gateways, the yeah, internet gateway, not gateway, and service gateway. We'll talk later about it. And the security part, security list, and the network security, uh, yeah, and network security list is not added in here, yeah, so you're gonna have only the uh, security list in here. Last one, route tables that will say how the, the data yeah, will go into OCI. As you can see, this is the IPv4 and all the traffic should go on over the internet gateway if it is a public subnet. This is an IPv6, yeah, it again goes over internet gateway. And in here, yeah, you see this is a private IP, yeah, and if you have a private subnet, everything should go over the NAT gateway. And also, if you don't want to go with the services over the internet, you should use a service gateway, yeah? So that all Oracle, all the, let's say the traffic that it needs to communicate with Oracle services will use Oracle back one in a safe way. Okay, and last step is to press create. Now you need to wait a little bit and the private subnet is the one that takes uh, five more seconds yeah, than the other services that are almost instantly created. After the private net is, uh, is created, you can click view VCN you'll be redirected to the view VCN part and you're gonna see all the resources that have been created in here. I will stop now with this video and we'll continue with explanation about the resources that we created in here. Thank you and see you on next video.